Here's Crosby gaining the zone. His pass blocked off the hand of Mikhail Granlund. Back to center and Carlson with it now. Stung him a little bit. Jake Gensel on this number one unit for Pittsburgh. Their power play, 21st right now in the NHL. A wrist shot, they score. Riley Smith, and it's 1-0 Penguins with a power play goal. Pretty simple on this power play. They do a good job along the boards, keep the puck in. They move a little bit towards the middle. Watch in front. Jake Gensel does a nice job screening. I mean, that is a beautiful screen by Jake Gensel. And you just shoot the puck towards the net. Sharks aren't able to block. Picked up in the top corner. Goal score. Fine. That's it. You got to move on now. As Hoffman came crashing to the net. Here's Smith. Back the other way. Malkin takes. Feeds. Rust looks. Gives it to Pedersen. Back across. They score. It's Riley Smith again. And it's 2-0. On the way back, the Pittsburgh Penguins counter, and they get a bit of a bounce here. Riley Smith in the right place at the right time. The Sharks had a change. They had a change as they were coming back. The Penguins were on the transition. The Sharks changed. I don't think it was a great change, and that caused them to be behind the play, and that's why so many Pittsburgh Penguins were... Kristen Jari, two-time All-Star. Injured last year. In fact, he got hurt in the Winter Classic game. Yeah. Only played 47 games, but that mattered not when it came contract time. They gave him a fat new five-year deal. Here's Brian Rust. They score! Jake Gensel, a net crash goal, and it's 3 nothing. Skating off the puck. Gensel coming on the wide side, and he doesn't get picked up early enough, and he gets the inside, right? So... There's what Gensel does that's really smart. Doesn't stay to the back post. Once he gets that lane to the net, as the Sharks try to pinch up at the blue line, he starts to cut to the middle, and he takes the angle where he's got the advantage. Kanija runs into Nieto. Penguins with a delicate line change there, and they just did execute it fairly. As Nieto goes between the legs, flips it in, and now Achari in after it against Kanija. And they score! Vinny Hinnestroza in his Pittsburgh debut. Two quickies for the visitors. It's 4 nothing. It's pretty simple right here. The San Jose Sharks get the puck and they're down. They just want to kick it to one side. But Vinny Hinnestroza is there. There's nobody there for Kinejov to push it to. Better option here. Better play would have just been to eat it, take the hit, protect the puck. Instead tries to move it. Hinnestroza is there. Banks it off. Oh. Declan now Hurdle diving down was Graves and the puck ends up right to him McDonald able to keep it in Hurdle backhand pass to Claire he scores Anthony Declare a power play goal This is a really good play by the Sharks. They keep the puck in the zone, and they move it right down, high, low. But what a move by Tomas Hurdle. What a move. Look at that stick handling movement just on the backhand. But what does Duclair do? He doesn't stay back and wait for the puck. He goes into that scoring position. You got a man by the net, and then you have to respect that, right? Talking to Tomas Hurdle on that. The play, though, kept in on the puck. Kept in in the zone, I should say, by Jacob McDonald and quickly down low for the attack to the net. Riley Smith in the attacking zone to Malkin, and he scores. It snuck through the five-hole underneath Blackwood, and a big response goal for the Penguins. So this is the Penguins, as you said, responding, work along the boards. Then Malkin releases. Malkin's really smart here. This is a smart play by a terrific hockey player. He releases as he sees the Penguins getting the advantage along the boards. So Riley Smith's got a three-point game going. That primary helper for Malkin along with his two first period goals. Here's Crosby in alone. Drops it for Latang, 
and he scores. And it's 6-1. And two quick ones again for Pittsburgh. Transition again. A beautiful pass by Sidney Crosby. And Latang, the D-man, up on that play. A really nice play by Sidney Crosby, but it was a transition again by the Sharks. Carlson will steer it up the boards. Hinestrosa goes up ice for Nieto. Matt Nieto, three on one. Achari shoots, save, they score. Matt Nieto. He has a goal for the Pittsburgh Penguins. His first for them, and it's 7-1. This situation, if there's no F3, there's no high forward, now that creates that situation where you've got an outnumbered attack. So you cannot chase. You have to make sure you stay with your structure. The Sharks are trying to chase some offense because they're down. That has the pinch. That has no support on that pinch as that F3 is gone. Pittsburgh scored their goals on just 25 shots and what's particularly interesting looking at the staff through 40 minutes through only three Pittsburgh skaters don't have a shot on goal the offense is coming from up and down and throughout their lineup well, that's what they've been looking for Gensel to the net a backhand by Rust and he scores that's too easy it's 8-1 well, the Sharks working in the corner and the numbers look at the numbers Claire in against Shea. Still has it. And then backhands it off the outside of the cage. Hurdle. Looks it through to Granlin. In front for Duclair. Now back to McDonald. Here's McDonald and he scores. Jacob McDonald unloads. A slap shot on the power play to make it 8 2. Good work entering the zone. Good work setting up below. And then look at Mikhail Grand the the front of the net. And then it's just a bomb of a shot. Set it up from the point. One timer Jacob can shoot it. A little bit of a screen, but then Joseph keeps it moving along those far boards. And now Latang trying to flip one through to Riley Smith. Good stick by Kyle Burrows to get in the way of that. Can I get over there and help? Kel off the boards and over to Joseph, back to Chris Letang. A pass in front, Smith, doorstep, bang, bang, play, and Malkin has his second of the night. The key is right there, the play along the boards. Pittsburgh comes out with it, and then Malkin rolls to the front. Watch him take this off his foot, though, here. Banks, off the foot into the, I mean. But then the Sharks chased it, right? They chased the... They gave a couple away, and then they started to chase their offense to try to get it back. Just more errors of commission than omission as compared to the Vancouver game, but still, it's 9-2. Top line on here, Rust at the net. Krona battling for it. It's in. The puck went in, yeah, and so. Pittsburgh have double digits. It's 10-2. Maybe Crosby. Hey, as the play goes to the net, just center it to the net, right? And it looks like... Yep, it's Gensel, you're right. Yeah. The Penguins put up double digits on the scoreboard at SAP center. That'll do it.